What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's big video. Today we finally get a reveal our living room transformation. Yes guys, super happy about this actually. I've been waiting for this for a while. As you guys know, it was a blue, it was a blue ball before. It's like a blue textured kind of like modern like, contemporary Yeah, thing. it wasn't, it wasn't ugly. It wasn't bad, but I just didn't like it. I didn't mind it, you know, but now that this is done, I am so happy we did it. It's way better. The house just flows. Like guys, just to let you know, in order to get Dimitri to do this wall for me, I wrote my name with like white paint on that blue wall. I wrote Aika. He had no choice at that point. <laughs> we were literally like looking at it and we were deciding like, do we do this? Do we not do it? I'm like, and yes. I had the paint out. For, oh, I was doing the bedroom. That's why I had the paint out. And then Ika literally just grabbed the brush with some wet paint and just wrote Ika on the wall. And I'm like, I guess we're committed at this point. Gotta do what you gotta do. Should we show them? Or no, before we show you guys, we'll show you a little before for those of you who don't know. Yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll show you before and insert some clips of like a bit of the process. Yeah. Right? Cause like we took videos along the way for you guys. And then after we'll take you guys up and show it to you. So it begins. I'm hoping that it's not glued, because if it's glued, there's a lot of work in front of us. But regardless, we'll be able to do it. This pattern just doesn't really go with the aesthetic of our entire home, right? Yes. Like we got like the coffered ceilings, we're going for a very like classic, modern look, which I feel like this is a little bit too contemporary. I hate to say it, but I think you're right. <laughs> we're doing it. Okay, we're, we're gonna rip off one of these yes. to see how they attached it. If they nailed it, we're in good shape. We're hoping it's nailed. If it's glued, there's a lot of prep work that needs to go if you remove all these to get it back to flat. So we're gonna rip off one, see how it goes. Does it look like? And there is a little bit of glue. Guys, the wall was actually glued and nailed, so we had to hire someone to come in and just help us redo this wall and make it flat again. And now we're off to Home Depot to go get her a trim. You're gonna break it, you're bending it. I promise. Trust okay. me. Okay, guys, we are back. Oh boy, she's getting the tape out. She's ready to go. I'm ready for this wall. Dimitri's in the garage, and he, oh, look at that. A little real estate sign, you guys. <laughs> but he is painting. I figured it'd be easier to paint them before we put them up, and then I can just kind of touch them up once they're up. Those ones are all done. Got these ones, and then I got those ones over there. Probably gonna need two coats. These ones will also need two coats? All of them. Just showing you the wall one last time before we get back to the video. You guys ready? I think they're ready. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby. You lead the Thank way, okay? Guys. I feel like it goes with the flow of our house so much better. It just looks like it was always supposed to look like this in my opinion. This is definitely me and Aika's vibe, right? We went to Greece, we got inspired. Aika found some olive trees for <laughs> us. The room is so white and so neutral that the olive tree adds a pop of color. Yeah, it breaks up the space. And this one too. And then this, this little one. <laughs> I made this one as well. I'm actually proud of Ika for this because that was actually like a bigger tree and then Ika got MacGyver on it and she oh, cut yeah. it, you know, put it into the vases. So we've got a couple of them around the house. I absolutely love this wall. I feel like it just looks classy and modern and it just dyes the space all together. And then for our pillows, we went very neutral. Again, can you tell we love neutral tones? <laughs> We went neutral again for the pillows. And you know what? I mean, we might make some changes. We might add a pop of color. We might add some other decor to the space, but we literally just did it. So this is what it looks like right now. I, I'm super happy with it. This was the coffee table that we got last video. Yes. This is actually an outdoor table that we picked up. It's like a, a concrete cement kind of finish. I picked this out. Ika hates it, but I picked well, this out. Okay, I don't hate it. Well, the thing is we had this downstairs in our entryway, right? And I think it looks good there, but I don't like it here. But I think for now it's okay. For now it's fine. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, before we never really spent a whole lot of time up here because we were just like, eh, we didn't love the space. I now we it. are up here all the time. I know. It's just cozy and comfortable and I love it. I actually, I love my pillows. I love everything up here. I like how clean and simplistic it is. We're going to up our, our sit down video, uh, you know, style. Like sit, sit down, sit down. We're going to just kind of camera view around there. Oh, oh. 
we get try to get the two olive trees in it. Oh yeah, right there. That's too far away. Look at that. No, just <laughs> strike a couple poses, baby. Work it. Love it. Baby, you look awesome. It looks so good. I love it. It's a bit, it could be a bit white for some people, but guys. I don't, I don't think so. I think the trees bring it out. It's our vibe. It's like modern Mediterranean style, you know? That's yeah. very us. Now the next step is to, now that we like this space, we're actually gonna spend time here, is to put a TV over there. A TV or we put a projector. Down here is like where you walk into our house. This is the entryway down here and them saying we could put a TV or projector here. As for the trim work and the wall, it wasn't that hard to do. Uh, for you, okay, Dimitri is really, really handy. I could not do this. If you're an absolute perfectionist and you've never worked any tools before, it may be a little difficult to do, but I've worked lots of tools before, so yeah. it wasn't it wasn't bad for me. Honestly, I just cut all these the right size. Well, first you have to like do the math and figure out like how many patterns you want on the wall. We taped it to make sure that we actually like the design before the trim goes on. And then I painted them and then we borrowed the neighbor's little laser level, which yeah. is very handy. The laser thing pretty much just makes it easy to make sure it's all lined up, you right. know? Like, Cause I walked in and saw some green lines on the wall. And I was like, what's this? Yeah, if you don't have that, like things can get really crooked very fast yeah. and you're gonna notice it. When we did the wall, some people were asking how hard it was, like just from the pictures that we had posted on our Instagram. If you're starting on a blank white wall, it's not too bad. Yeah. If you're starting with like a colored wall, cause we had that deep blue, right? It just took forever, like priming it and priming it and priming it. It almost looked like it was a mint blue color with light. For the longest, for the longest time. time. We were just like, when is it gonna stop looking yeah. like that? And uh, and we also, like I said, when we took the old trim down, it was glued and nailed. So it was super rough and the, the drywall had to be repaired. So we actually had to call a drywall guy to come skim it because that's something that I can't do. Yeah. But once he was done, then I could throw up the trim and repaint it and do all that. After seeing them do this entire wall, I have so much respect for people who do DIYs. Like I see girls doing this and they make it look so easy. And I'm like, how do they, like after watching you do it, I'm like, how did they do that? Like they make it look so easy and so good. I'm telling you, I couldn't even cut the trim right. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do out of hired somebody. I'm very happy with the space. I'm very happy it's done. I'm happy with the decor and as I said, I feel like it needs a bit more character. And as time goes on, I will add a couple more things to it. But for now, this is what it is and I'm happy with it. Ooh, you know what I just thought of? In, in Christmas time, we can replace that tree with the Christmas tree and it's gonna look so good. Mm, I, like, I like that actually Christmas tree over there. What if we put lights on the olive tree? That's like the Greekest thing you could do is make the olive tree your Christmas tree. Really? I've never seen anyone do I've that. I've never seen anybody do that either, but. You just made that up. I just made that you up. You just made that up. We always like to go against the grain, baby. I'm not gonna put no. no. <laughs> what? I'm not putting no light on the olive tree. I think we did a good job. Well, you did. <laughs> like, you did. People, no, I mean, we both did it. Look, if it wasn't for you, it wouldn't have got done at all. So. I mean, we didn't have no professional help. We, we just kind of went off of Pinterest and stuff we saw in Greece, and I think it turned out awesome. I mean, some of you guys doubted my vision. Ooh, some of you did doubt the vision. You and the people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what you're trying to act like. Some That's right, you guys doubted. I doubted the vision as well. You doubted my vision, but do you prefer the old look or do you prefer this look? What are we gonna do now, baby? I mean, maybe we should go into the interior design space. You don't wanna get me started. You know, you'll... Guys, our bedroom has been incomplete for the past two years, <laughs> and I just want it to look like we are on vacation all the time. So now that this is done. You know what, actually, I've got some good ideas for the bedroom, okay? Even with what we've got going on, we might have to bring in an electrician. We'll have to get some some fancy Ooh, stuff done. Who are you? I know. Now who I'm are excited. You? I know. Before I was like, I don't want to do nothing. Let's stop spending money who on the are house. You? And now I'm just like, okay, let's get going. This is this could look a little bit better. So it's nice. I love it. I love it. Okay, baby. Good job. Yay. Guys, if you like the video, go ahead, show us some love, like the video, let us know in the comment section what do you think of the space. I still love it. I think so. You guys. You guys better love it because it's so lovable. And you're about to see it in a lot more videos. So with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. It's a pretty good DIY or DIY. DIY. Yeah, DIY. DIY, DIY do it yourself. <laughs> the TikToks, I could do it here. 
She's already started. <laughs> One thing that we forgot to do that anyone who's in the real estate industry or the staging industry knows, maybe you gotta, you gotta chop your pillows. <laughs> you gotta chop the pillows, right? I, chop. I liked it the way it was before. Chop, chop, 